the government struggling to get on the front foot as the coronavirus death toll in aged care soars above 450. We are seeing in Victoria an agonising loss. Another $563 million will be spent tackling the virus in nursing homes, including continuing a supplement to aged care providers to secure adequate PPE, extending a payment designed to stop casual workers moving between facilities and providing more money for in-home care. That will support older Australians to go home if that's what they and their families decide that they want to do. The announcement though not detracting from COVID questions about the Minister's handling of the crisis. Did you consider your uh, offering your resignation to the Prime Minister? No, I haven't considered my resignation. No. Labor using question time to again suggest he should go. Why does the current aged care minister still have his job? Because under this aged care minister, $1.5 billion of additional support has been put into the aged care sector during the COVID-19 crisis. Senator Colbeck insists he retains the Prime Minister's full support, denying claims he's been sidelined from parts of his portfolio. But during a combative press conference, the Health Minister repeatedly took over answering questions solely about aged care. Don't we need to know that this isn't happening, given it's a massive driver of movement of the virus between facilities? Well, uh, let us be very clear in terms of the epidemiology. Let me uh, just begin with that. Uh, the very process which uh, we ourselves established. Do you mind if I just begin first and then I'll, I'll turn to Rich? Uh, the minister mid-sentence when his colleague called time on the media problem. appearance. And that's why we called the Royal Commission in the first place and we're being prepared for that when it gets to, to its completion. Heading in different directions as they struggle to stay on the same page. Eliza Edwards, Sky News Canberra.